Adding content to your Open Office document can be done in three main ways. And the reason why I have decided to show you how to use um, Open Office is that it allows you, um, you know, as long as you've created your original document with, with little or no formatting in it, you can then import it into your Open Office document and start to add the formatting without it causing any problems a little bit later on. Sometimes when you've created um, a Word document with formatting in it, and you then try and turn that directly into an ebook. It can, um, it can cause problems with where you formatted it, and it, and you never get it to look look right. So with with an open office document, it allows you to put your content into the document and then format it. So I'm going to show you three ways that you can add content, and it will show you the differences. So the first way is you actually add content directly by typing into it. So that's a fairly normal way. The second way is by going to a Word document, copying the content, so we've got our Word document, and I'm going to copy some of the content here, and I'm going to copy that, and then pasting that directly into my Open Office document. And you'll notice that when I do that, there's a whole range of um, extra sort of um, functions that appear. And that shows you that there's actually already coding behind that text because it was done in a Word document. If I now delete the content I added from the Word document, and then open up a text editing application, so because I'm using a Mac, I'm going to be using text edit. But there's basically a text, um, a text editing function allows you to um, use text with no formatting in it. So as I said, with a Mac it's text edit, and with a PC it's going to be notepad. If I now copy the same text into my text edit application, you'll notice that all the formatting is removed from it. Okay, So if I now copy that, Go back to my Open Office document, and this is the third way that I'm putting text in. So the third way is I've taken my text, I've ensured that there's no formatting in it, and then I paste it in. You'll see that there's absolutely no formatting um, that code that goes with it, and this is probably the easiest way to work because now what I can do is I'm bringing in my content that I've already written, making sure there's no formatting in it, and I now can use um, a uh, a uniform formatting style throughout that document.